Welcome back Farming Simulator Club members. Got some new mods again today. Let's go check them out. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to tell you guys what mods are in testing. The mods that are in testing is the the Bruno HSR 5390, the Chieftain Fuel, Fuel Bowser, the Ransomos HR3186 and TS93F, Growly, the Gornick Grinder 3M, Concrete Pack, a pack of wooden crates, wood fits panel, a wooden gate to use in farming, FS17 farming legend, barrel pack, head camp, shovel, Hagenstead, stump grinder rebald XY LOR, and ITS ITSI project. Okay, there's the mods that aren't testing. Let's go check what mods we got today. Okay, we got eight of them, so let's check them out. We got Hagenstead update. Uh, change log, changed bushes of FS13 by FS17, changed several FS13 trees by FS17, added Ridgy Boy to vehicle shed, adjusted trigger cow feeders, uh, fixed the problem with the uh, Juno, fixed point visit gas station near shop, changed ground texture in the village area, added two more farms, uh, fixed position parking card and uh, Biogas plant, lower trigger collision to sheep feeding area, readjusted dirt area and sheep feeding, new PDA map, and adapted for seasons. Okay, there's that. Uh, also, someone messaged me last night saying that they couldn't sell uh, some bales on that. Let me know if you guys can sell bales on a Hagenstead. Uh, let's check out the next one. We got our mechanic PT. 25 this is by vanquish 81 the manufacturer our mechanic has thought about the users of the tele handle tele handler loaders preparing this way to avoid these with those swings when lifting the load okay that's pretty cool okay then we got the hen camp shovel a salad bucket made by the dutch company hen camp with its 1540 liter capacity it is the perfect size for small to mid-sized tractors uh, price is 1,140 euros. Maintenance is 3 euros a day. I forgot to download these. Okay, then we got the Granite Grinder 3M. This is by White Bull Modding. Uh, Granite Granivator Cultivator based in Spudnegi, I don't know, Sl Slovenia. Grunick Igor Stair SP has been manufacturing agriculture machinery for over 40 years. The company remains a family owned business and is one of the best manufacturers of agriculture machinery in Slovenia. This is by White Bull Marty. The Stump Grinder Rebald XYLOR. I know this is from Black Sheep Modding. Uh, this machinery cuts trees, stumps, and creates new field. It also deletes trees too. Which I will actually show that off too. The Rasmos HR3186 and TS93F. This is by Peter J. Uh, Rasmos is famous for their plows and cultivator equipment. Find here a selection of disc harrow and non reversible plow. The disc harrow HR3186 working with is 2.7 meters. The non reversible plow TS93 furrow. Working with is 1.3 meters. Let's download that. And then we have the BioBelt SP300 Snowblower. Our first snowblower on this. Uh, this is by Toxic. Uh, a snowblower or snow thrower is a machine for removing snow from an area where it is not wanted, such as a driveway, roadway, railway track. The powerful BioBelt SP300 can also handle other crops. Uh, price is 6999 Maintenance is 15 euros a day. Needed power is 125 horsepower. Working width is 3 meters. And maximum working speed is 10 kilometers. The best working speed is 7 kilometers. Okay, let's get that. Okay, now I'll show you guys these in game. Okay, here we are. Farming some other club members. This is the West Coast map. Okay. Here's the new mods right here. This is the Art Mechanic PT25. 
Looks pretty nice. Okay. Then right over here we have the head camp shovel. Looks like regular standard shovels, but it's pretty still nice. Got the little head camp right there. Okay, this is the uh, the granite grinder 3M. Another nice one. Okay, and this is the stump grinder uh, bald XYLR by Black Sheep Modding. I like all the detail they put in there. Look at that. There's a tree right there. Ooh, that's nice. Glasses, gloves, working boots. <laughs> and this is the uh, Ransmos HR3186 and the TS93F. This one and this plow right here. This is Ransmos right there. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, the skid steer is not new. I just got this to show you guys. Uh, the Rabaud. Okay, well. Let's hook it up. Okay, now let's go find a tree somewhere. Um, it kind of feels like, okay, there we go. I was about to say, it feels like it was dragging. So make sure if you're using the skidster, you uh, lift up, lift it up, so. Uh, let's go find a tree. Don't know if you can actually cut down that tree. Uh, let's go over here. Let's try to cut the, one of these trees in the park. That's a pretty thick tree. I don't know. I don't think you can cut these ones. Ooh. Some water right over there. Nice little park. Okay, in a minute after I do this, I am going to show you guys the snow blower. Uh, trying to get a good option of where to cut one of these trees at. Okay, there's a field right there. Let's try one. Let's try like this tree right here. See if it works for this. Uh, enable the plow. Turn on stump cutter. Allow creative fields. Uh, let's see. Um, Ooh. So he's trying to do something. Okay, maybe it might not be best for these kind of trees. One with the branches sticking out. Let's try this. Nope, it's not doing nothing. Yeah, see, when you do the plow, hold on, I'll show you guys right here. When you do the plow, look at the bottom. See, there's the plow. That's cool. Huh. Okay, let's go try to find a different tree real quick. If it doesn't work, then I'll just show you guys the plowing. Okay, this map is huge. Okay, 
I do n let me uh, skip ahead to see if I can find a tree. Okay, here we are, guys. I found some trees. Okay, right, let's check this out. Turn it on. There we go. Look at that. That easy. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay. Now let's check out the plow. Uh, enable plow. Oh, yeah, I don't own this field. <laughs> let's see, try up here. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to show the plow right now. So you guys seen how the stump grinder and all that works. So it's a really nice mod by Black Sheep Modding. Okay, next time I will do, I'll show you guys the snow blower. So here we go. Okay, here we are, you guys. We're on Sosnovka. And this is the Vial Belt snow blower. It's the first snow blower. Okay. If you hold down the L1 button or the LB button. Okay, let's turn that time down a little bit. As you can see, it's snowing out. Pretty snow. Okay. Let's unfold it. Then you lower it. Put the pipe out. And if you hold down the L1 button and uh, use the right stick, you can move the pipe. So let's say I want to go push it over here. So just do it like that. Make sure you guys uh, push down the L1, R1 button, and push unload here. Or it's the L, uh, the LB or the RB and the uh, the Y button. Okay, now you turn it on, and look at that. I like this mod. It's going to be really helpful in my let's play when it snows. And of course you can hook up a trailer in the back of it and it'll load into that. So it's going to make it a lot easier to clear those roadways. Yeah, look how fast I just cleared that compared to what we were using. Okay, turn it off, fold it, put that back. Okay, okay, let's go check out the. Uh, I haven't told you guys the slot, so let's go look at these slots. I'm not gonna show the blower slots yet because I'm gonna keep it on here. Uh, let's check out the rabod. Where's the rabod? Uh, probably okay right there okay this is the Rebald XYLOR 1613 it has six slots uh, three meters nine miles an hour working speed uh, fifty dollars a day and you can hook up the skid steer loader or wheel loader and there's no price difference with that so that's a good thing okay what is another one um Give me one second, you guys. We also have the uh, Ransmos. It's over here. Rasmos. There you are. Okay. 
This one, the HR31 is $2,000, $5 a day, required horsepower of 45, takes two slots, 2.7 meter working width, 9 miles an hour, and this is the Cultivator. There's no options on that one. Then we have the TS93F, it only takes up one slot, it has a working width of 1.3 meters, uh, 45 horsepower, and $5 a day, and a working speed of 7 miles an hour. Okay, and then now we have, let's look up the Gronik. Uh, Gronik, there we are. The Gronik Grinder 3M it is 11 slots, uh, working with the 3 meters, 130 horsepower, and $3 a day. And there's no options on that one. Okay, and then we have the Higcamp Shovel. There it is. Uh, it's 1140 $3 a day, uh, two slots, capacity of uh, 1540 and there's no colors or anything with that. Then we have the Art Mechanic as the final one. Let's go look that up. Art Mechanic. There it is right there. The PT25 is two slots, uh, $0 a day, so it's completely free a day. And is the adapter Labur and the adapter Monoto. Which I believe the Labur is the uh, excavator stuff that's about to come out from Black Sheep. Huh. Okay. And if you guys are looking for the snowblower, I believe you can find it in Miscellaneous. Yeah, it's right there. It's $7,000. Well, 6999 And it does do more than just... Uh, just snow. It also does, you know, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes. Does basically, ev yeah, everything. Uh, 125 horsepower required. Fifteen dollars a day. Uh, let's see, three meters working. Operating speed is six six miles an hour. As you can tell, you can go faster, but it's recommended that you do, you know, slower. That way, you can get all that snow out, and you can change the color on it. it has lots of colors. Uh, have standard design and working light design. And here's the working lights on it. See, there it is right there. Really nice mod. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you guys like this video, you guys pound that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys do. And make sure you guys press that bell notification so every time I release a video, you guys will know about it. I should be re releasing a Let's Play today. So I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.